Hello, people right. of the tubes. Welcome to Game Squid. Today, joining me is Brad Hudson from this indie function website. But That's also, hello, but also Brad. probably <laughs> freelancing something else. Check this out. Yeah. I made this level edit, so now it has a texture. Now this. Oh yeah. yeah. You can do like terrain and such. Nice. I even made an undo function. Madness. Oh, but now it's... I don't know why that happened. You know, I used to have the same issue. Because this is... This is uh, Unity, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is so there's, weird. There's a certain thing that you can do. I, I think there's two things. One's the undo and one's something else. But oh, this is, if you do it, I, 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 it screws up the lighting. I programmed the undo myself, so it's not really anything like that, I'm sure. The question mm -hmm. is what happens if I make more than five steps? Is that going to undo? Is that going to call? It is. Oh, weird. Unless the, the button control C does something. What if I edit it now? Well, now it's just yellow, huh? Weird. You know, I've had lots of issues with Unity's lighting just doing odd things like this. That's very odd. Huh. What's that? Oh. Just my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> every, die, every time you die, your nuts spawn where, where they were. Because the nuts are like your Dark Souls souls. Mm. Right. So that's. What are the, uh, the vertical lines there? Or I guess they're not perfectly vertical. Oh, they're just for testing. They are perfectly Oh, they are. Okay. What is Camera. it called? Uh, the LOD is so high that they might look weird. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you can't tell anymore because I made all kinds of stuff there. But these lines are where the original islands were. So if I mm -hmm. press the randomize function and make islands, it'll show me again these lines for those two oh, islands. Oh, look at that. It doesn't show the main island though because that's just... A testing feature anyways mm, I gotcha quite happy with this randomization but I'm not happy with the undo button I don't know why why that fucks up the lighting that's so weird huh. very odd I this is the first time I'm seeing this with actual textures because before it didn't before it was just white and now it has textures that are also kind of fucked up because they get darker the closer you get. Definitely have to fix that eventually. And then I can um, just run and then I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm playing in it. I'm not sure if you've seen any of this game yet, but. Oh uh, yeah, I've I've watched a couple of videos. Oh cool. What kind? Um, are you working on this? I guess <laughs> or talking. Uh, oh the the long ones. Oh right, or the 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 ones where I'm presenting. Uh, the ones where you're presenting, mainly. Right. Yeah, my other channel, this one, I I make these long videos where I'm just programming for an hour. <laughs> Probably not, haven't seen those. No. Right. So... Yeah, I wonder what's causing the darkness there. Well, it's the fact that it seems to have a different texture when you're further away, even though I'm not sure. It's just this terrain asset we bought. I'll have to inquire why it's doing that. I gotcha. It's probably an option for it. Whenever you buy assets, you never fully understand all the options right away. Mm-hmm. All right, so what are you working on right now? What am I working on right now? Like, right now, right now? Yes, that's not you, by the way. Yes, what, what are you working on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I had a client a couple years ago. He had me work on a web portal for um, his. Uh, oh, there's the dogs. Uh, <laughs> sounded like um, pretty close to the mic. <laughs> uh, like seven, eight feet, so like two and a half, three meters. Um, yeah. No, they're just really loud. Um, right, your client. and, uh, yeah, what I was saying, though, was I made a web portal for his apps, so basically, people, 
uh, they're educational apps, so people can log in and uh, manage like students and teachers and uh, assign the apps to different students, give them assignments, that kind of stuff. Um, and he just uh, reached out and wanted me to do some more work for him. So what I've been working on. And then so, I've also got so yeah. So is this a website where you, where you wait? He's distributing these apps, or is it also an app? <laughs> um, no, I'm just working on the web website. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm just trying to figure out which function or which <clears throat> property determines what texture is used on what pixel of the terrain. It's very. Really I haven't done this yet. Is there anything for UV? Uh, well, the way it, this looks is, well, this part here. You got the eight textures and they got normal and height. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, oh, UV means uh, where everything is. I don't actually think there is such a thing in this case. You see this is this re relief terrain. Mm-hmm. Apparently nice Did probably. you say relief? Yeah, or, or relief, whatever. Relief <laughs> sounds just wrong, to be honest. I just, it's, it's a, a Latin word, anyways, isn't it? Yeah, but English likes you know messing everything up, being stupid. So, uh, I I think it might be this one. I don't know. It's one of those. <laughs> Apparently it looks slightly better than the usual terrain. Right. So how about what? Tree wave grass Oh wait, this mic's not close off. Oh no, there's your phone. Yeah, there's the phone. You should probably put that on mute. You found your phone. <laughs> Just another spam caller. You get those. I've been getting yeah. so many lately. It's driving me nuts. And my um, my call blocker isn't isn't even registering them anymore. Because they're calling from so many different numbers. Oh no! It's just given up as if it was. I was going to say. I don't know. There was once, there was one program where you kept getting spammed. I guess it was Skype, but they just constantly had people getting hacked. I think you were one of those too. Just people getting their, their numbers fished, and then they send a, a message to all their friends, mm -hmm. and then they get fished. Was that you, or am I um, of other people? I get one, like, maybe once every other month, but... Right. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious when you are. There was one time where I almost fell for it, just because it was worded just right, and it sounded a lot like my friend. And I didn't think anything of it, and I clicked on it, and like as soon as I clicked on it, I was like, "Wait a second, and I you know closed down Chrome as fast as I could before it actually loaded. Well, I'm sure you have to actually enter your info for it to hack you, but maybe not. I don't know it, just, it seems to be pretty infectious, yeah, so I just got out of there ASAP. okay, I didn't find it, so that's just me being great and unprepared, right, yeah, script. So what else are you working on then? Are you 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 working for that guy right now? Um. Oh, alpha data. That might be it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't started working today. Um, I've only been up for a little bit. I took the dogs for a walk and uh, did some phone calls I needed to do. So. Oh, yes. But um. More American apparently. We've just How come? recently got up. Oh, time zones. <laughs> At 2 p.m.? Well, I don't know. Well, it's, it's like it's four midnight now. for me, you know. Or 4.30. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Some people get up at 2. Maybe I just know more weird nerds. Oh, wait, no, you are a weird nerd. You were talking to me at like 4 in the morning yesterday, so... Yeah, I tried fixing my sleep schedule and I kind of fixed it. Yeah, but now I'm accident. sleeping twice a day. Well, that's not so bad. I tried to do that once. It's hard though. It was really hot. 
so I couldn't fall mm -hmm. asleep in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, try again when it gets less hot. The I find the problem with this though is also what was that noise? I was odd. Um, is that when I sleep twice a day, I sleep longer each time. So instead of sleeping a total of nine hours, like I sleep twice, uh, like five or six hours, for a total of you know anywhere between ten to twelve. It's like well, then I lose three or up to three hours of my day it's yeah. like this this isn't good so either i need to like use an alarm or something that would be the solution probably at one point i tried to sleep 20 minutes every four hours and no no proper sleep mm -hmm. but i i'm not sure if it's worthwhile because I, I might sound sleepy all day and then i'm not good for videos who could tell <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that. Um, oh yeah, Ubermensch. What is it? Methodology? No. It's Ubermensch sleep schedule. <laughs> yeah, there were some. Um, like I think Thomas Edison had that sleep schedule where he'd sleep twenty minutes three or six times a day, and he'd be able to get into like super deep sleep instantly, and then. Wake up 20 minutes feeling somewhat refreshed. God, I wish I could do that. I yeah. wonder if it could work if you do it for a long time. And then, uh, and then you're just perfect at it. Yeah, I've read about it. And they That's said that doing that. it for too long backfires. Um, I don't know how it could backfire. Well, it's got a lot of mental effects. It you does. Know. What kind? Well, yeah. Like, well... What, what happens if you stay up for 48 hours? You get kind of weird, right? You get kind of delusional and, like, giggly. And just, you delayed reaction times. Definitely like, delayed reaction times, yes. I've noticed those. Mm -hmm. That's definitely yeah. not good for videos. But the point of, of napping would be to get rid of that. Yeah. Because, like, our body... It, it, think of it like not eating, you know? Like, our bodies need food. Our bodies need sleep. So... If you're if you're not getting the required amount of sleep, yeah. Oh no, there's no required amount of sleep. There's some people who, who don't need any sleep. Mhm. Mm it's just good genes. I wish I had those. Even <laughs> though I don't need much sleep, I think like five hours could do for me. Yeah. But I don't know yeah. if if doing five hours every day would do for me. I guess I'd have to see. For sure. Yeah, apparently there's a, a gene and and most billionaires in the world have it because they just don't need to sleep. It's quite nice to think about I think superpowers. <laughs> 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 so they're just making money all day. Now what making money all day, snorting coke all night. I would expect no less. Now, what the <laughs> fuck is this going to... Oh, my God, it's a fucking three-dimensional array. I wasn't prepared for this, Brett. Why didn't you warn me of three-dimensional arrays? A VEC 3D? A VEC? Oh, Vector 3, my bad. Forgot what Unity named them. Well, yeah, but it's not that. This is a... Oh, a 3D array? Yeah. Dang. I mean, it's like... No, it's not... It's Wait, not where, where do you see a 3D array? I'm might making it now. It's for the alpha maps. This is gonna be quite intense. Alphas. Yeah, I think whenever you, you create a 3D array, you kind of have to sit back and think to yourself, do, do I need this? Is this is there a better way to do this? There is not, because it it requires this 3D array for me to be able to make this level editor to be able to do the this stuff, the, this stuff being, you know, uh, changing the the texture like in that video we just saw. If you were looking, no, I wasn't. Sorry. Here, I'll show you again. D behold the beauty. That's what I'm trying to do. 
Okay. You see how he's... Yes. So why do you need the 3D array? What's the 3D array for? The alpha maps of the textures that are in the map. That's what that's for. Okay. All right. So you send this 3D array directly to Unity and it just reads it, or...? Well, first I get the 3D array from Unity and then I insert mm -hmm. it. And I'll okay. see. Oh my god, what will it even look like? I have no clue. How do <laughs> I. Is there, there's not, not going to be a way to visualize this. This 2D array of hype map is already difficult to. Wait, is this actually floats? I guess it is, isn't it? What mm -hmm. resolution is that going to be? Oh my god. Probably 0 to 1, isn't it? No, that's not a resolution. <laughs> well, no, but. The question is how many... Well, yeah, alpha is 0 to 1, I guess. The yeah. question is how many tiles there's going to be, which, of course, you couldn't know because you don't know how big this map is. I think it's like 2,000 times 2,000. Do they... Jeez. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, I, I guess I see what you're saying now for 3D. Uh, array. Yeah, because it's got, like, eight textures these eight textures and it, it it's just gonna be 100 percent this texture everywhere right now but then it, it, it'll be less that by so the time there's an x and a y coordinate is there so what's what's the third thing in the 3d array or what, what are the three values that you're well there's x and y or... and then there is which wait no there's x and y and then there is one for every single of those eight textures. And then you just give it the number based off of which texture you want? Exactly. Oh, okay. So you could do like 000, zero, zero um, and set it to 0 0.5 and then 0, zero, 001 set it to 0 0.5. Exactly. Assuming that it's XY texture and then each one of them has 50% uh, transparency? Well... Hypothetically. Well, well, yeah, but you'd have to... Uh, every set of eight numbers is just going to be inserted in one pixel. So mm -hmm. How many numbers is that, then? Uh, it's 2,000 times 2,000 times... Times eight? Yeah, it's only that many. All right, no problem. Only 32 million. How much is that before eight? It's only f right. It's eight million. Uh, four million, right? Which is the height maps. So this is only eight times more intense in numbers than the height maps. Okay. Saving all that that data is a hundred twenty-eight megabytes. Hundred twenty-eight, huh? I believe so. My math's correct. You know, that's going to really suck because I want to do undo features, so I'll need to save like eight of those. Oh, boy. Well, that's a gig right there. A gig of RAM. Mm-hmm. Is that really so? Fuck. Jesus. Well, I don't know how, how big a float is, actually. It uh, floats four bytes. Is it? Mm-hmm. And you've calculated this just now? No, this is just stuff that I always know. No, I mean the the, the number. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Well, all I did was I took 32, 32 million times it by four, which is 128 million, which is 128 megs. Not bad. <laughs> hey, you've got some stuff. How long have you been programming? Um, nine years, a little over nine years. Not bad. How old are you now? Uh, 21, so. Oh, wow. A couple more years and I'll hit the been programmed half my life mark. <laughs> how, what, how old were you when you started? Uh, I was 12, so. Not bad. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean, I, I saved the date. Because when I when I downloaded, um, I mean I started with Game Maker, so it's not necessarily programming, but 
Um, I got into C plus plus later that year. Um, but when you when you had to download Game Maker, you had to sign up for a Yo-Yo Games account, and your account had a date stamp on it. So, <laughs> Game Maker, like, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh yeah. That's no, um, I've got some friends doing some pretty impressive stuff in uh, Game Maker right now. Did they um, make Undertale? It's... No. Um, oh, have you wow. seen the game uh, Wander Song? No. Let's Google this. Sounds like a very in pretentious indie game. Pretentious. Oh, I bet it is. Um, wander with an A, like you're wandering around. Was I clicked images? Oh wait, so uh, yeah, that is not bad. Okay, that looks more cute than pretentious. Mhm. Mm yeah, check out a uh, that Kickstarter trailer. Oh my god, that walk cycle. <laughs> um, so the thing is, there's no sprites for this game. Um, it's all, it's all uh, vertices, yeah. So, like, well, actually, there might be sprites. Oh, maybe the I I watched him stream it on Twitch, but um, for the most part, like, he draws all these characters by like just drawing them with points. So he puts on a point and then drags it around until he gets the right shape. So he's created a. <laughs> <laughs> created some kind of pixel drawings. No, some kind of vector drawing program. Oh, wait, in Game Maker. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Enough with the singing already. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> uh, right, so. Where is this happening? Oh, okay, I think they're. I think they settled down now. No problem. But, yeah. Okay, so now, now we get these alphas. God, I sure hope it's not gonna lag if I update it every frame. Mm -hmm. It didn't... well, it might lag. Yeah, I think the, right. the coolest thing about Wander Song is not only is he doing all this interesting, you know, vector-based uh, rasterization and rendering um, inside Game Maker, but he also built his own game engine, so when he runs the game, it boots up his editor, in which he's able to then make his game in that. So there's like two game engines almost. That's cool. Which pretty I, weird. I, I did a lot of editor work in this poor mouse as well, but right now this is mm -hmm. the, gonna be the official level editor, so hopefully it's gonna be available for the users. Ah, I gotcha. Which is why I'm not using the, Udi uh, the Unity editor but instead making my own editor within unity to see how long that how well this will go we'll see it'll be something oh god <laughs> however will we do this wait t data oh i guess it's my Terra thingy. Right, so I have no no possibility of outputting this in any way, do I? Eh. Right. Yep. Now the question is. How bad will it be if I save it every frame? How, how much lag will that cause? Rest and rep. Huh? I said rest and rep. Oh, we'll see. The height map updating is bad because it, it creates vertices. This is just textures, so it might not be so laggy. We'll see. But then again, it's more. Who knows? Hmm. All right. Okay, so the thing I'm searching for is save now reader my brilliant function names right here. It no, there it is. Terra oh Terra dot save now set. I don't know. Let's oh. Google it. Vicious creatures. <laughs> what 
zero zero four. Huh? I wonder what zero zero is for. In this case, I should look this up. Well, yeah, you can click on set alpha maps. Oh, it's X and Y. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that's get alpha maps, right? Oh, this is. Good. Is, is that the one you were looking at, though? I'm looking at safe now. Okay. So you can. Wait a moment. Is this the same for the other one? Oh my god. Have I been wasting all my time? Have I been a fool? Oh my god, I might have been. Could it be that I was so stupid? Let's find out. Get height. Get height versus get heights. Oh my god. Rip. This could change everything. It changed everything. <laughs> so essentially, I should be able to get just a small sample and then... Oh my god, but that's going to be impossible to make undoes off, I guess. Hmm, fuck. Well, let's just see. Yeah, I was going to say the Unity Editor has an undo thing built in, but then that only works in the editor, so that's Indeed. that's not an option. It will never do. Wait. Returns an alpha map. No, that's right. Where is it? There it is. Okay, this gives me a, a width and the height, so that's fine. Oh man. Oh, uh, that's right. I was trying to remember what I was doing yesterday. <laughs> Finally found it. So what? Because the way I had it is that I made an array of all the heights, and then I I saved that array. Mm -hmm. And then I, I set the array to all the heights, and that lagged. So I made a smaller version of the array, so now there's a, a low-poly version of the terrain that enables when you when you do this, the editing, which now might turn out to have been pointless if this actually has a version of only doing a small part of the map. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. Even though it'd be pretty complex to pull off. Oh my god, that would be brilliant though. Because I used to have beautiful sandworms that could dig into the terrain. And then I had to remove them because they lagged the whole map when the map was too big. But maybe if I can just update a small part, then it would be great. Huh. There you go. Oh my god. Well, we'll see. how I'll, I'll have to do testing. God, that would be... Preposterous. Can I find this this function I'm searching for already? Where's set heights? Get out. I mean, set alphas. Uh, bad. So, this is my first time using PHP in like, I don't even know how long. Like, six months, and I keep having to remember how to do stuff. Everything yeah. is a dollar sign. Yeah. You can do double dollar signs if you want. <gasps> what does it all mean? Is that a pointer? Could it be a pointer? Mm, not quite. So what you can do, it's totally hacky. So let's, let's say that you have two variables. Um, in, you know, standard programming uh, variables, let's use foo and bar. All right. So what you can do is set foo to, you know... 50 or something and set bar to the string foo all right so if you do dollar sign bar you're going to get the string foo if you do dollar sign dollar sign bar you're going to get the number 50. so it's kind of like a pointer but Wait, it's really it just giving out the name of the variable or what yeah so you can you can do that and then you could also um, I think do the same thing, but add parentheses and then reference a, a function in that way. Oh, it, PHP is super hacky. 
and you can do all sorts of oddball things. Jeez. I've used it once. There was one time where it was a good solution, and I used it. But other than that, it is just something that people want to use because they want to be clever, and in doing such, have made their code slower and, like, really awful. Well, it seems to not be very laggy, so this might actually be a decent way of doing it regardless. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, it's, it's working for laggy, you? But whatever. Well, it's not actually updating anything, but it's... That's a problem. Well, I mean, it didn't make it update anything. I just made it override with the same values again. Hmm. Okay, so... Now it's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Very... Oh my god. This is going to be something. Is there any way to find the alpha map resolution in this? I, you know, I know the stuff off the top of my head. Oh, I'm, I'm just asking rhetorically, <clears throat> looking at these options now, wondering if there is such a thing. So what are you doing now then? What I'm doing right now is Marty, uh, the, the the guy that I'm working for, he wants a way to allow users. So when when you've got um, like a you know you add the teachers right, and each teacher gets assigned a username. Right. So he wants there to be a way to print out all the usernames um, with the teachers' names uh, next to them. So it. Um, uh, people can either just like have a reference sheet or cut them up and give them to the teachers. So that's what I'm doing right now, and um, so far I'm not having any issues, which is nice. Is it using SQL or MySQL? I don't know which one's the one you should be saying. SQL or MySQL? <laughs> the, the database thingy. Yeah, yeah. Just no um, way this is called SQL, is there? It is called SQL. 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 Yep. No way. Yep. Just like uh, Neo4j is actually pronounced Neoforge. Oh my god. Blew my mind. Fucking hackers. <laughs> And what's what's the other what's the other database? Speakers. That's the uh, no JS one. Oh, that's just called MongoDB, which I mean, Mongo database. <laughs> Not to be confused with Mono Edit from Unity. Are you working? No, not Mono. Mongo. Mongo. What? I said not to be confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> The names are different, though. So, but yeah. So, so you do I mean, any, people could still, huh? You do any game development lately? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm working on a game. Um, we haven't talked about it publicly yet, so I'm not gonna say too much about it. But it's along the same lines as Super Puzzle Fighter. So, you are uh, competing against an AI or another player in trying to fill up their board. And, um, you know, gems fall from the top of the screen, and you try to, you know, create big, big uh, clusters and then break them to send gems to the other side. Um, the only thing is we're taking a different approach um, to the standard formula. I mean, obviously you'd want to or else we're just remaking Super Puzzle Fighter. Um, I don't actually know that game, so you'll have to explain it. Um, so, have you played uh, Puyo Puyo? Not sure. No. Okay. Um, so, I mean, if you just looked up Super Puzzle Fighter uh, gameplay, right. it'd be pretty pretty straightforward. All right, let's do that then. Yeah. Also, you've got like a thousand tabs. Yes. You're worse than me. 
No one's worse than you. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, you can just skip to somewhere. Um, this, this is very nasty. Round one, fight! Oh my god. Is this, mm -hmm. is this retro or is this actually old? Uh, this is this is the arcade version of the game. Uh, is this just oh, all kinds wait. of puzzles or this particular puzzle all the time? Um, so y your board starts completely clear. Right. Um, and like, you can see that, like, the gems are falling. This guy's a, a pro player, so he's, he's doing quick drop. Um, but you see, like, the numbers there? Those are ones that are sent to your opponent. Um, so when you, you see what, the, what are falling, yeah. So those, those are frozen. Like, they, they're on your board, but they have no use for five drops. So you have to put five uh, gem pairs down before those become playable uh, gems. Sounds pretty crazy. Mhm. Mm also, are you not using a mono-sized font? Nope. You're crazy. Well, they're all hideous, alright? I can't stand them. <laughs> Well, you know, the thing is, if you don't use a monospace Please font, it's like the first like, sign of a psychopath, you know? That's, there, that's what I've been There's told. only one downside to using this font, and that's that the plus and the minus have incredibly different sizes. But other than that, it's beautiful. Oh, no. It's, it's hurting my eyes looking at it. Oh, no. So yeah, I've been looking at it this entire time, and I'm like, hmm, something's off about this. I think it's just the colors. <laughs> just can't like, I don't think I like the colors here, but no. Not the colors. Mm. Yes, that, my, that must be why nobody likes my programming channel. <laughs> the colors are fine. The I uh, I ended up going or watching um, because I I had colors that were just the built-in Visual Studio, and I was getting really sick of sick of them and i was watching indie game the movie and i saw tommy ruffinesses um ruffinesses wow ruffinesses yeah, yeah, yeah okay the, um this, it's the name that's the plural. meant to be said no like ruffiness is really easy to say but like it making it possessive ruffinesses oh, is okay. uh, tommy's i'm using tommy's uh color scheme in visual studio that's really nice can can you turn off that option in in TeamSpeak that automatically adjusts your volume? I think it's called auto voice gain. Ah, uh, sure thing. Where is it? Uh, echo reduction, echo cancellation. Yeah, it's. Um, there. do you? Probably in advanced. It's in capture for sure, though. Well, I'm under. Oh, advanced options. I see. You find it? And now I can't hear you anymore. Seems that we have made things worse <laughs> rather than better. Yep. You there still? Can't hear you. Thought you're back. No? Never mind. That was just my music, silly me. <laughs> Does it work now? Nope, you're still off. That, that makes sense. You're alive, but you're still weirdly loud. <laughs> I guess you just have to stop moving so close and far away from your mic. Is that like is that, that what's causing it? Stop! Whoa, I'm not even close to it. What are, what is this mic that you're using? It's it's a Yeti. Make it like less loud then. Okay. Um. A Yeti? That is the worst sounding Yeti I ever heard. Well, that's not good. How close to it are you? 
Um, hold on, I gotta I gotta convert it because Americans don't use the metric system because we're stupid. Um, oh, just guess. Hold on. Like Jesus. twelve centimeters. That's pretty close. Well, Is I mean, it? No, no. It should be fine unless you move closer to it. I hope I don't do that by accident. Yeah, I mean, I do move a lot because, like, when I'm when I'm reading stuff, sometimes if the font's small, I move closer to the screen. I know I do but, that too. That's why I hate. <laughs> but Jesus. the mic's to the side of me, so like it shouldn't shouldn't be an issue you because I, if I move forward it, I'm basically you're just same. annoyingly loud in this I don't know it's odd um, well um, I, I think I turned gain fun. right yeah so I, I have the gain control off though super loud. so that's when I turn off the gain control yeah it should be off otherwise it's just gonna make you well I don't know actually maybe you're your mic is just so out of control it needs to be. It's just so weird how it, how it does that. How old is this yet, T? Um, like two years or something. Uh, how old? I I don't know. I um my brother got it and then he uh he decided he didn't want it anymore after like a year and a half because he he was he was doing a lot of stuff with it and then he just stopped. So he's like, hey, brat, this thing's just collecting dust. Do you want it? So I took it from him. Makes sense. I think I paid him like 30 bucks or something. <laughs> well, that would probably good if it's not a, a snowball, in which case it would be adequate. Yeah. Is it? Um, no, it's not. Alright. Now, the question is how much is this even? Uh, how, how much is what? Oh, no, this, this height map thing. Oh. Alpha map. You also need a mic arm, because otherwise I can really loudly hear you type, as you're doing right now. I need a what? A mic arm. Like one of those little filters? No, an arm that you put your mic on. I have one of those. You do? Wow. Yeah. You're using it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're talking about like the arms that are adjustable and you can change the position. Yes, it's just weird that I heard you type so loudly then. Oh, oh it's probably because be I sure. just type really loud. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> Smash. <gasps> okay, maybe, maybe just turn down your gain in general. Because you're just too loud in that way. How do I do that? You don't team speak on, on the knob of your microphone. Alright. Excuse any sounds. Not the volume knob, because that one doesn't do anything. Is this gain? There it is. Alright, how about that? Seems better. Good. Okay. Let's, uh. Maybe a little less. Okay. Alright. It's very nice to talk to you, by the way. We did this interview a long time ago. Uh huh. And, and I haven't heard of you, but we, we should do more of this if you don't mind. <laughs> For sure. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. 20, 20. Let's try like 30 and 30. Positioning stuff is so annoying. Oh, you. I'm dumb. I made, I, I made a tool for me where I can just press left and right and it changes the number. Uh-huh. So I can easily figure out where to place it by pressing buttons. And all I have to do is just put in that that variable that's determined by error presses. For, for positioning HTML pages? Oh, right. Never mind then. I don't know <laughs> if that works. Actually, it might. Unless, no, probably not. No, you wouldn't be able to save it back out. I mean, you could, but you'd have to like create an entirely new file well, dynamically. Well, you, you would just do it in in JavaScript, but yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, you sounds, could just, that sounds awful. It's actually really simple. Uh, you no, could probably I, write a, a short JavaScript that 
that outputs a number that changes by pressing buttons. It probably is easy, but I still don't want to do it. Of course. Because JavaScript. It, it either, would right? only be worthwhile if you do it a lot. Yeah, no, and JavaScript. You use it a lot. JavaScript is the best. Oh, it, Florian, you can't say stuff like that and expect me to continue being friends with you. No, you elitist. No, it's... What's, it's... what's wrong with JavaScript? <sighs> is that what you're using for, no, for the mouse this, game? this is C-sharp. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, I just like JavaScript in websites. I guess I haven't gotten into Web 2.0 yet. Maybe, maybe there's some better solutions there. Yeah. Well, it's all that you have, but hmm? I don't know. What's all that? It's you have? it's hard to debug. Is the thing. There's oh. no good debugging tools. I mean, there probably are, but like that's that's just the number one thing. Is when when I'm writing code, like if I can't debug it well and be able to fix my problems when they c crop up from the language having specific quirks, um, like. It's it's dead to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I if I can't write code, like I'm incapable of writing code, like why would I use that language? Well, it's, you can always try and error it, but yeah. Obviously, there's choices. If you if you're young and skillful, you can always adapt. <laughs> I, I mean, adapt to learning a better language, but I don't usually learn a lot of different languages just because they're slightly better. Yeah. How many languages have you learned? Oh, I don't know. Too many. I bet. Um, I mean, C and C++, uh, PHP, ActionScript 3, Java, um, Python... And then, you know, your typical, like, scripting languages and web languages, like HTML, CSS, Ajax, JavaScript. Those are a bunch. SQL. <laughs> SQL. <laughs> yeah, you, I bet you so those aren't programming languages, lot. but... Um, Cypher for NeoForge databases. And... I'm, I'm yeah. lucky if I did, like... Six, maybe seven in my life, and, and some of them only really briefly. Oh, I guess I worked on a project where I had to read a lot of basic, so I don't know if I could write it, but I can read it. <laughs> you sure freelance a lot. Yeah, it's my main source of income. Yeah. Uh, the game that I'm working on right now is in C. And it's about the puzzles. And it's just regular C, huh? Not, mm -hmm. not even Unity. Not what? Not even Unity. No. Imagine that. Unity is a pain in my ass. You don't like Unity? It's a love-hate relationship. I love how it ports to everything. I love how simple it is to get stuff started. But as your project grows, um, I don't know. Unity always decides to give me the middle finger. Hmm. Imagine that. Okay, so we don't have an error, it would seem. But nice. it, it also doesn't seem to be having changed. Wait, is that... Is that changed? Is that little bits of dust there? Huh. So I've created bits of sand on top of the other sand. What an odd feature. <laughs> so what? what's the maximum? What, what do I do? A hundred? Is that... Maybe you need to set the other one to zero. I, I I would think the first one would override the other one. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's no, because it? if it's just an array, like 
Well, it seems that if it created a little bit of dust, let's just see. Yeah, zoom in super far. I can't tell if this was like this before. How about making a new one? I wish I knew which one the other one is. Um, how about instead of A++, plus plus, do A plus equals 2? Uh, that way it's every other. See what I'm saying? That's a good idea. It's gonna be weird. And then you can actually tell if there are different things or not. <clears throat> Alright, let's just see how many there are going to be without an error. Why don't you make another loop? Um... Nah. Nah? Okay. <laughs> it seems that... There's only eight, so and, and they're all unique, so I don't... Well, it'd be zero to seven, not zero to eight. Huh? You did, you did number oh, eight. I did, didn't which, I? Which, right. Yeah. I also made some error, apparently. I wonder what... Unity, will you... Palm doesn't exist. Thanks. Thanks, Unity. Palm doesn't exist. <laughs> Alright. Well, there, it's zero, and the other yeah, one's this, one. Yeah, uh, so this, this printing one. thing sucks. I don't like this. Printing? Alright, so, are you making your own engine? Hmm? Is this your own engine that you're making? For the printing thing? The game. Oh, the yeah. Icon. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like making custom engines for each game, because then you don't have to... Like, you can just make it specifically for that. And, like, you don't have to create an entire thing. Like, this... Um, like, the, the grid is just an array. And I put things in the array. That's like all the complexity I need. I don't need, you know, a physics system or or entities or any of that. So uh, yes, yeah, the game was. Sentencing and I, I, what is this? Is this an own engine or something different? Yeah. So it is. It is a custom built engine. Like started from scratch. But like. I was saying that when I when I do games nowadays, I like starting from nothing and working my way up because each game is different and you can just custom tailor it to that needs. Like this game doesn't need entities, it doesn't need a physics system, it doesn't need any of the complexities that come with that because in the end, like the gems in the grid is mostly just an array and you know, I don't need to process entities or or you know, do all these other things that other games need, so I just write the little bit of code that I need, and it works. The The game was basically playable um, 20 hours in. Like, I started with a blank CPP and, you know, created my own window, got OpenGL running, all that stuff, and created the game. So, that's, I mean, once... That's pretty fast. It's only because I've done it, you know, like five times now. Huh. So practice makes perfect, really. Like a speed running game. <laughs> yeah, I'm still under forty hours, so I haven't even put in a full work week yet. That island's pretty close to the edge there. Wouldn't want that. Um, padding left zero pixel. Let's see if I can use any. I, I don't think I would agree. I think if you're making a larger project, you would definitely want to to make it in in a pre-built engine. Because it just has so many things that are so useful. But I guess your way is interesting too. What's making that noise though? Anything touching your microphone? Nothing's touching my mic. Hmm. How very odd. I mean, my mic is connected to the arm, which is connected to the table, which has my laptop on it. Right. So, unless, like, 
I don't know. What what noise? Is it still a typing noise? This? I can definitely hear that, yeah. Okay. But not super loud. There was something else that was just... The, the auto was it this? Was definitely off, right? Was it that? Did you even hear that? That was pretty quiet. Okay, that was just me brushing up against the mic. Just, I I haven't been, but in case I did. That's what, what it sounds like. Um, um, text, wrap, element, CSS. There was some sound there, I don't know, it's very odd. Oh well, I shouldn't worry. Hmm. Right, well, let's see what happens if I change a different texture. Yeah, I swear, there's always this... some weird sand over everything, I don't know if, if that was always there. It seems to be unrelated to this. Stop typing. No, never mind. I, I think it, your, your mic is probably moving back and forth a bit just from the continuous typing. It's very odd. So what does it sound like though? Mm, it sounds like... Uh, what I, it sounds like an avalanche. That's an weird. avalanche? I've never been in an avalanche. I don't know what that sounds like. Oh, well, this should have happened before this code for once. Well, you could imagine what it sounds like, right? It's very noisy. It's all around you. <laughs> yeah, I guess a bunch of just noise coming at you. Uh, <gasps> there it is! Oh, you found Thank it. Oh, you. Oh, look at that! We got something! We got... Alas! Got skid marks. Thank yes. you. What? Oh, oh. Oh my god, look at these candy mountains. It, I like how a, we both got stuff perfect. working. <laughs> <laughs> that looks kind of cool. It does. <laughs> Too bad it can only be in one direction. Or, well, in two, but... Oh, um, yeah. No. Uh, I mean, you could make it. Like I don't, I don't know if you can UV it. I think it's oh, you mean actually bending it? I would just... Yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that would be cool if you could bend it, but it's still kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Probably not what you want for the final game, but... Oh, no, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this, this should probably be a feature in the level editor. It looks like, um... Uh... Like corduroy pants, you know? <laughs> Flannel. <laughs> but, but, uh... Sand. Word wrap CSS. Right. So how about this then? And how about not all of this? Oh, the palm tree not existed. Jeez. Damn. So now we've got uh, um, that's just confusing. Oh man! Uh, oh, I see. So the issue here is that it it still has the previous sand, the previous thing. My God, the way it goes green is so weird. It, yeah, it added the sand on top of the other text, just see, and then mm -hmm. it would do the sand just add them together. And then it didn't override the previous text, just because I, I disabled the parts where it does that. So if I do this now, I'll have things that are slightly different. Oh my god, them update while I'm playing. Why wouldn't it? Because uh, it keeps crashing that way. 
Alright, so now we've got sand versus whatever that is. Manure. That's dark sand, I guess. Like Wet go. sand, maybe? Maybe. I could see that, like, having the darker and then that, like, fade off into the dry sand. It's so reflective. <laughs> It's, so it's just dark. simulating how blinding, you know, sand is in real life. Mm, yeah, it's highly hipsterish. Alright, so all I need to do now... <laughs> to, just so that I can feel good about myself is make it so that it's linked to the height map in a way that... Mm -hmm. like, it, it makes sand near the water and it makes something else everywhere else. Yes, no problem. <laughs> The question is, is there an easy way to, to to give it an array of eight and just overwrite one of those with what, Do you think that's possible? To what? Uh, are you sure you turned off that auto voice game? Yeah, sh should be, yeah. Let me check. Right. Uh, an array of eight f floats. I wanna, mm -hmm. I wanna just make that array and then set it in one of those tiles. Do you think that's yeah. possible? When it's a 3D array, can I just replace one of the arrays? Huh. I wonder. Um, the only way you could do that is by holding a reference to whichever one currently oh. or previously had it. Really? Damn. Nice. Yeah. But you could create a function. A function. Yeah, that's also. I guess that would. Mm. So all you would do is um, like send an index loop over all eight, and whichever one is equal to the index you sent in, obviously set it to one, or did I'll set it to zero. Did you turn it off then? Uh, the auto gain, yes. Oh, I thought I had it off. Oh God! See, that was exactly the issue, because well, because <laughs> retarded team speak would would just amplify your background noise when you're not talking because it thinks that. That's something I want oh, to hear. Oh, so the avalanche you heard was the AC. Well, anything really will be <laughs> amplified. Ah, damn it. Okay. So, hold on. I'm going to turn up the, the gain Gosh, on my mic was, again. No, no, no. It was no? perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to see if that also causes a problem. Well, it, it causes a problem Here, let's, let's test it, okay? Loud. No, stop. Okay. I, I turned it up. Is it worse now? Uh, it's fine, actually. Okay. How about now? Now it's awful. Now it's awful? Okay, is it good now? Or, or it's guess. just... Okay, I'll just completely turn it off. No, gain is... Gain is nothing but volume. Now I can't hear you at all. Well, that's because I'm not talking. Right. <laughs> a gain is just a, a word for volume. The fact that you've got a slider with volume on your mic that's just if you plug your headset into your mic, which you shouldn't do because it's retarded. Mm -hmm. if, if you wanted to do that, that's what that volume slide is for. But if you do that, you also hear everything that the mic hears in your headset. It's really dumb. I don't know why they did it. Yeah. All right, so now... Ah, fuck. I need to do a get height thing. In a, in a simple way, and I don't know how. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's a simple way to get height? Oh my god. Usually with a measuring stick. <laughs> the problem is that the alpha map height is much, mm. much less than the. Height the other map nice height. thing about hmm? measuring sticks is that you can beat your friend who makes bad jokes about them with it. It's very good. There you go. It's, you must self-flatulate. Uh, if you have one. Oh 
God damn it. All right, so. Yes. So I take ice, well, whatever it's called. I zero is. Int I zero I one is a times hx divided by this thing. And then int float. Oh my god, is that gonna work? I have no idea. We'll see. Yes. So, have you ever made a level editor? Uh, a couple times, yeah. What were they three dimensional? Um, kind of. Cool. Um, one of them was made in Unity, so it was using 3D stuff, but um, it was like a 2.5D game, so it was basically a side scroller, but um, it had depth. So Dumb. essentially, it was a 2D level editor. Hmm. That is cool. <laughs> sure. You got all this experience, but do you have any? Any games that are, that are playable? Yeah, I've got they, like, uh, I mean, a uh, bunch of jam games, but I have a couple completed games. Hmm, I should have you never been on my website? Else. I'm not sure. I guess not. Just brethudson.com. Oh, it is right now. I, I probably was. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Let's find out. East Island. Oh, Flash, huh? Mm-hmm. Damn, it's too loud, unfortunately. Guess I'll have to forego the sound. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, am I dead? No. Why did, why did it pause? Okay, so the game's played in five-second intervals. So you can click on the second image down there. Yep. So the second one there. Yeah, click on that, and then you can click on it, and then you get another five seconds. That seems very odd. How do I? Oh, do I Double interact jump. with myself? Oh, okay. So hit backspace, and right. then hit backspace again, and now you can just use the first interval again. So. So yeah. you can only get two. In this level. What's the point of this? Why is that the f <laughs> Okay. What? So, this level introduces doors. Oh boy. Pretty simple concept. It, it was already open. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now this one... ...is where you're gonna start seeing the, the other mechanic. Oh no. So now, so now, if you click on the second one... ...and go. I hate how I have to click again. Yeah. It, this was this is made in a week. So now, if you do this level, it, you're gonna, just, you're gonna uh, it would be nice if, if space would also. Yeah. But yeah. Oh no. All right. I guess so, I should have clicked the other one first. Yeah. So if you if you backspace, and then do the second. God damn it! I have to click it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I. Yeah. Can you change? Can oh right wow. I could change it. No, I mean, can you change interval while you're not done yet? I wonder. I bet All it's right. that one. So. Well, so basically, works. what you're doing is you're traveling through time. All right, each one of those is a different time period. Oh yeah, of course. Um, Looks like no less. So now this one, you're gonna you you just messed it up. So what's, what just happened was Did you created I... a paradox, right? Because at the beginning of the third one, the crate's in the left position, but at the end of the second time period, you push the crate to the right. So they're in two different places at the same time. Right. So if you don't move the box, you'll be fine. No, really? you screwed up. 
Well, I don't know about that. So you created a paradox. <laughs> so don't so move the box. Just jump over. Oh, double jump, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't look like a game that would have a double jump. <laughs> now I can move. No, I can't move the box. Wait, why am I here? Yeah. Oh, right. So if you if you hover over each one, you can see where you started. Um, I wanted oh, to put way more levels into the game. I had a lot more ideas, but cannons. Yeah. The problem is I don't. I can't have. I can't jump. Use no, the mouse, can't. and They're... also the arrow keys at the same time. <laughs> Unless up is jump. Is up jump? Uh, I think you can use. Yeah. Oh, well, that helps. I, I used base to jump for some reason. I think your WASD works as well. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, so it does. Uh, those are the crates. I can't press backspace. Why don't... <laughs> um, what you can do, though, is you try pushing one of those crates. Ah. It happened. Um, this is where things start getting complicated. Double jump them. <laughs> Um, and that's no, not the one you want to be in you... either. Oh yeah. I don't that, remember. That's if it's... an interesting game. Have you made any yeah. 2D ones though? Uh, there's two. All right. There's uh, Cannabroth there. The that game jam cool. game. It's not that great. Um, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So it's got it's got good music. It's got good graphics. Nothing happens. Um, but I ran out of time and kind of. Just put everything together as fast as I could. How do I play it? Oh, you gotta download it. It's a Unity game. I, I don't see a button. Oh, there it is, right. I mean, if you if you want to play it. Oh, let's, let's see if I can get this shit done for now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> like, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I want to go back and uh, revisit that game and fix it, like make oh, it go for it, make it all awesome. But I don't have time, unfortunately. Oh no. The the ever present threat to me getting shit done. No time. So are you making good money from freelancing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope enough, so. That's enough demand. What well, you should know. <laughs> oh man, how do I do this? Um, yeah, that's how I pay for my my food. Now the thing here is that I well, I guess for now it's simple. Uh, I yeah. guess I I just output a variable and that's heights. This and that. Uh huh. You type out heights, by the way. I sure failed. God, I, I hate that word. Yeah, heights. Heights not a, height is a gross word. Very grotesque. Type. Uh, the other word that I t hate typing is image. For the longest time, I would type I-A-M-G-E. Like, that's just how my hands wanted to type it. And hmm. I was using PHP at the time, so it wouldn't tell you. Because it's not a strongly, it's it's a loosely typed language, so it'd just be like, oh, uh, this didn't work, and it wouldn't shoot out any errors, even though I typoed the variable name. Oh, I spent about two weeks debugging that one. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun one. And compiling scripts all over the place. What are you talking about? I wasn't even done yet. Whatever. All right, so this is. Um, I guess this is one then in that case. Now let's see what happens. I didn't. I wanted to choose a texture, but I did. I did, did, couldn't wait for Unity. And now everything is laggy, and bugged. Weird. Don't know why. But also everything is sand. Which is not what it should well, have been. What you were doing forty minus F one? Yes. What 
What was that line all about? Well, if it's above 40, it should be zero, but if it's below 40, it should be larger than one. I don't know if I need to limit it. But I don't know why it's lagging. You're doing F1 times 600. Yes. Yeah. So you should probably clamp that, right? Well, it's only 600. Uh, yeah, I should clamp it, you're right. But could that be the issue? Um, right, why so should... I... I'm very confused with your math here. <laughs> Let's let's just see. What what does heights return? What are the numbers there? It's from zero to one. And then you're multiplying by six hundred. Because it's six hundred in actual possible height. Okay, but then forty minus six hundred is gonna be negative five hundred forty. Uh what? Forty minus six hundred is yes, negative. The thing is it's it's like it's not six hundred in all the tiles. No, but in the ones that it is, it's negative four or five hundred forty. Indeed, do you think that caused it to lag? Could that be it? Uh, possibly making it. I I don't know. I mean, once you do the clamp, you'll find out. I, I imagine it would, but. I want to multiply it by not much. Let's see if that helps. No, less even. There. Now let's see. <laughs> no. What? I didn't change that line. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh. Why is then a multiplied? All right, whatever. <laughs> So did it lag because the code didn't work and it tried to update the code that didn't work? No, I'm thinking that negative 540 was such an odd number that I was trying to do something with it. That but it's it not couldn't, clamping it internally. It couldn't even have worked to begin with though. So yeah, it's not lagging now. It isn't, but I think it was the updating because I think I, it, it had a syntax error and it tried to update. Oh. Yeah. It's not working. Don't know why. Wish I could see under the water. Oh wait, I guess I could just pause it to do that. Nope, not even down there. So why? Why oh wait, why? Wait, so what are you trying to do exactly? Make it change color ba or texture based off a of height? Exactly. Oh. So um, what's the min height and the max height? Uh, it's up to 600. Okay, so it's from 0 to 600. Indeed. Okay. But it's transformed to 0 to 1. Well, then why don't you just send those numbers off to... So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, instead of multiplying by 600, all right, so... Do alphas, you know, sub zero equal to F one and then the other one equal to one minus F one. Uh wouldn't that make sense? I'm doing that now. Not kind quite. of quite. Unless you're unless you're doing something more complicated than that. But if you literally just want it to be a linear thing, then something changed. Well not entirely linear, I'm trying to clamp it off at some point mm -hmm. great night lagging again it's probably because Nestor is also working on the scene hmm. oh my god why does it have to keep doing that I hate it fucking baking god damn it what is unity trying to fight you or something it never does that that's not unity. No. And this that keeps changing some options that that don't make sense. <laughs> Let's hope it's fucking off with that now.
Well, it's not like... Oh my god, it's still doing it. Uh, but now it's not lagging, but it's also not apparently having done that. I wonder why. So, so why I'm confused is you're getting a number between 0 and 1, and in the end you want a number between 0 and 1. So, if you're multiplying by 600, you need to divide by 600 to get it back to 0 to 1. Yeah, in which case, why do you even multiply by 600 to begin with? Are you really asking that right now? Because 0 to 1 doesn't tell me anything, but 0 to 600 tells me something. Mm, they both tell you the same thing. No, they don't. Because Yeah, it's, it's just a normalized number. Yeah. It's just more easy to visualize, I guess. Question is, why doesn't it work? What okay. are the numbers that I get? Are they really? Do you not do you not like normalizing vectors on? What? Normalizing or are vectors? Those, huh? What? This on this isn't vectors. No, but it's the same concept. It's zero to one. I I don't fiddle with the sing simple the single numbers of a vector, do I? I, I don't know if you do. I don't. I guess. Okay. I mean, usually. I, I well, guess, that's that's I got nothing to right, do but... with. Yeah. So. Hmm. If you took away the six hundred, you could just do. Um. You know. Yeah, I'd have to divide the forty by six hundred. And then I'd have to. Everything. So what? What exactly does the forty do? What What are you trying to do with? The 40 yeah. will be the height where I want to change between sand and not sand. Okay. For some reason it's not working. Alright, so how about not this and instead random. Oh, wait, rand? I guess rand is what I called it. Rand 1. Let's see what that does. Ah, fuck's sake. Palm tree missing. Alright, at least I stopped that baking. Fucking baking in the level editor. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I multiply by 600 so that I can have the heights in, in actual unity units instead of the heights divided by. Um, Divide or multiply it by six hundred. Divide it by six hundred. Well, then you're gonna. Well, you need to do that again to give it back to unity, though. Not really. Because it it's expecting a number between one and or between zero and one, right? Yes. Well, look at that. It actually does that. So it just doesn't seem to know the heights that it should know. I wonder why. Maybe I did the division wrong. You're not doing a division. That's that's what I've been saying. No, this division here between... Oh my god! Everything's wrong, of course. Why are you so obsessed about this multiplying by 600? Because it doesn't make sense, is what I'm saying. Why doesn't it it's make not, sense? It's not the right math. Why isn't it the right math? Okay, because... If you multiply by 600, right? Okay, so you get zero. You, be, you get between zero and one, and in the end, you need between zero and one. But then you're going to get zero to 600, and if you clamp yeah, but, that. But those are oranges and, and apples. Just because you have 600 apples doesn't mean you need 600 oranges. It's not. That's. What? What? That... Right. I I guess it makes sense. Yeah. In a way. Oh, there we go. We did it. Look at that. Well, the thing is that Whoa. I need... Okay. So... so y you're assuming... Wait, so why does this math work then? Now, now I'm confused that it did work. You don't trust me. The height... Mm-hmm. 
is between one and zero in the height map, but in yeah. in the reality it's between one and six hundred because the height the terrain's six hundred in height. Yes, I get that. So. And oh, then, and then you're multiplying by zero point zero five. Oh, okay. I didn't see that addition. Well, that's zero point zero five. That's just because that's... I wanted a slower gradient. Yes. If I so that's, if I that's made... the division though that I was talking about. Well, yeah, but need it. Well, I don't need it. If I remove it, it's just gonna abruptly change between sand and not sand. If you, if you will see. Even though I thought zero point zero five would make it a slower transition, but it's fine, I guess. So how how fast is this transition? There it is. This point is higher than I thought, by the way. Look at that. So now it just... Now this trans... This is like one. One unity unit. The tr that's how, how big the transition is. Mm -hmm. But considering the alpha map has a lower resolution, it doesn't actually show it. It, it just instantly transitions, I guess. Do you understand? You still there? Yeah, I. <sighs> so you're, by you're getting by results, but I don't know if they're exactly. Look, I'm I'm multiplying it by six hundred because I want the measurements to be in unity units. Yeah, not in, but does in the, the alpha map? What, does the alpha array want that? For the alpha array needs mm -hmm. between one and zero. Which is what you're doing, yeah. Yeah, but I'm clamping it. You see. I have 600, and then I'm yeah. well, actually, technically, I have minus 600. Then I clamp it because I yep. only need a difference between one and zero. Yeah. So only so right now only the top 40 are are one, and everything below that is zero. Indeed. But now we're going to make this a, a transition of, uh, damn it, what, okay, yeah, transition I was just of thinking five like tiles. You could just see. make this a, an easing, an easing function, and then have more control over the... What's an easing function? You've, you've never used an easing function? No, is it similar to lerping? All right, kind of. Right. It's like it's working? it's like using a a curve to right. here. I guess I should find out what an easing. Oh, see here it's it's now a, a slower transition because it's flat. <laughs> Weird. And now I just realized that this is going to be hell. There. It's going to be awful. Those are all the easing functions. Oh, sorry. All right. So these are all different equations that you can use to get different. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You've never used these? No. You're kidding. Why, why would I have... Everybody no uses things. these. Everybody so knows what these are. No, not everyone knows. Anybody Just... that's in game dev knows what these are. No, they don't. No, not everyone's a professional programmer, all right? This and has nothing to do with... Are, I've been using... I found out about the stuff when I was like 14 years old. Yeah, so? Ask any game developer if they use easing functions. And I'll tell you that they do. No, I, I mean, it's not bad that you didn't know. I'm just really surprised. I don't know a lot of stuff because I, I taught myself. I so did I. I well, I guess you just mud it. I don't know then. Wow, because, yeah, like, you can use LERP, but you can get a lot more precise things. So, like, this, this is what I was thinking, because what you could do is you could use, um, you know, ease out expo, and that would probably be the curve that you're looking for, um, for your, 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 um... Look how many there are, you know all these. Well, well yeah, they're basically them. all the same. I mean, stuff like that's probably pretty obscure. Well... What I mean, these all, are, th well, yeah, th they're all the same, but they all they all have unique names. 
Well, you don't even need to know the names necessarily. No, I, not. I mean, the first one is, you know, the number times itself. The fourth one there is the number times itself three times. So this doesn't you know, look very cute. sinus. This looks sinus. Weird. Oh, sorry, yeah, even sign. So yeah, the cubic one, I'm sorry, that's t times t. I know, it's just that this doesn't look sine at all. Hmm. Well, well anyways. Is. Yeah, I guess those things could be useful. I wonder how to use them in C-sharp. Well, you, you write them. There's just equations. So, like... Oh, they're not actually built in. No, you write them yourself. Well, I mean, I obviously write stuff like that then, yeah. I mean, it's just... Didn't know that they were named. I, I'm pretty just... So here, instead of, you, instead of multiplying it by 600, what you could do is... Um, I mean, you could have a cutoff point. Look, I'm multiplying like it by 600 so that I can relate to the numbers, all right? But stop, you could also... Stop thinking about the 600, all right? Well, you could also then just do, you know, 40 t divided by 600 and get the 0 to 1. Right. But then I... What's the big difference? Either I multiply by 600 or divide by 600. Well, you have to do both, is what I'm saying. Or otherwise you're not getting... I mean, with the way that you're doing it, like it, it ends up working, but you're not like I'm if not you wanted actually, to change it. It's I don't. Difficult. I'm not actually dividing by six hundred. You know, I'm just. Well, you're dividing by, by a different number to get. I'm just saying, if if you used, like, but then I'd have a to formula to... and an actual mathematic, like way of approaching this, you'd have a lot more control over it. Hmm. Well, I mean, obviously, but I could just add things to it. Why yeah. does it do that? Oh my god. It's probably because I did not. I ignored the yeah. update. Well, anyways, this is already a small progress, so this is cool. Mm -hmm. so, so I make random islands and then they've got random beaches. Even though this texture here is a bit just gravel. Now we've yeah. just got mountains of gravel. <laughs> I just picked one at random. Probably be better to make it green. Alright, let's find a green one real quick. The second one, alright. Somewhat green. So these eases, did mm -hmm. I? Did it doesn't show the si the oh there. Actually, I don't see where's the where's well, the formula. Well, this one's simple. It's just um, squared. The number squared. It is. Or not e's and sine. My bad. I thought you did e's and cube. So e's and sine um, would be. Let me type it up quick. Oops. What did I just but, click on? Well, this stuff doesn't actually show you the function, huh? Not this one, no. Right. But, I mean, you can look them up. They're in a thousand different places online. I, I guess, yeah. Um, so. Alright, now let's have a look at these green mountains. So, um... I just went into the easing library that I have, and this is uh, ease and sign. So, oh, look at that. That actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Mountains. Now, obviously, it would have to also depend on the thing. There you go. The thing being, God, what's the thing? What would it depend on? Um. It would depend on. Oh God! I had this word earlier. Now I forgot about it again. And uh, height. The change of height. What? The angle. The angle of the terrain would also determine the texture, I guess. 
So that w that's going to be something to determine mm -hmm. in order to get these numbers. But this is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even mm -hmm. though it, it it looks too cut off, I guess it also needs the angle there to make more sense. All right. Well, we've made some progress, and now we've got beautiful level editing. I don't know if I should make it redo the heights uh -uh. in this way every time you do this. I wonder if that, well, I guess it'd be an uncheck here. It's got a lot of features to add. <laughs> How's it looking at D? Yeah, not much different. All right, good. Just more laggy. <laughs> Alright, well, subscribe for more programming, Mouse. Goodbye. See you later.